Hello everyone, this is L.E. Diecast, and this will be a continuation of our looking at the 2012 Hot Wheels series, where we're going to try and look at all the color variations, the wheel variations, the exclusives, everything. And this video will be a little shorter than the others, mainly because my uh, the way I store these in boxes, I just noticed I have a bunch of doubles of these, so it's going to make for less cars. But... We've also got at least one wheel variation in here I'm looking at, so let's get started. Number 104 is uh, the 70 Pontiac GTO Judge. This blue one, I had a hard time finding this, but much, much harder to find was this one, which I have never actually seen in the stores. I ended up buying this one. Um, I think this was a Walmart exclusive and a very popular one at that, so... Uh, number 105 is the Pontiac Firebird, and this one came in a lovely pink. This was part of Walmart's three-car pink series, uh, which we this is the first one we've seen. This was a Walmart exclusive. There was also a yellow version, which was very common, and um, yeah, that guy I was checking to see if that was the one with the wheel change on it, but nope. Uh, next up is number 106, which is the Chevy Nova. And the Chevy Nova came in a brown, gold kind of color, and a green. Let's focus on that guy. Um, and it also came in a gray. If I remember right, the gray was the harder to find of that. You'll see a lot of these cars in this video will have three color variations to them. You'll also hear me back here organizing. As I mentioned in my last video, I'm in a really tiny space, so trying to keep the cars organized once they're off camera is quite the trick. Uh, next up is the 70 Monte Carlo. That came in a purple and a gray. I believe both of these were part of the mainline cases. I don't think either were exclusives. It also came in a gold. There we go. Next one in line is the 69 Camaro. This one was a popular one with the collectors. My card's a little beat up with the black one. It also came in a blue, and I had trouble finding the blue. And I don't remember if this one was a Walmart collection, collector, sorry, Walmart exclusive or not. Uh, next up is number 109, and that is the 70 Buick GSX. I guess I only have this on the uh, 2000. 12 card. I've been trying to show them on the, or 2013 card. I've been trying to show these on the 2012 card, so only got one of those. Um, and it also came in a brown, and here is the brown coloring, kind of a maroon. Maybe that's not brown. Reddish brown. And next up. This is probably the car I saw the most on the shelves of any car from 2012. And that was the uh, 67 Chevelle SS 396. So if you were looking for this car, well, they shipped them all to my area because both the green and the red seemed to be everywhere. Um, in fact, I have a bunch of these, so if, it's, if you're looking to, to trade, I picked up a bunch by accident. And that taught me to start tracking these cars when I picked them up. Number 2011 is the Torino, the uh, 69 Torino Talladega. Moving onward, we've got 112, which is the, is this Fairlane? Yeah. This is the um, 66 Ford 427 Fairlane. It came in a lovely green and a bronze color. This one's still color, right? Yeah, okay. Next up. 
This guy came in three color variations, and that is the... Get this guy in there. One of my favorite cars from this year. And that's the 64 Galaxy 500. That's the blue color. It also came in a green. And it also came in a orange. And I believe one of these was a Kmart exclusive. And I don't remember which. Next up is the 114. Start over. Number 114, and that's the 67 Shelby GT500. That came in a fairly easy to find white and a fairly hard to find red. I believe this is another... I want to say Walmart exclusive for that one, but I'm not sure. Here's another one of the pink Walmart cars, and that is the Thunderbolt, Ford Thunderbolt. Again, this these were put out by Walmart, I think they were Breast Awareness Week, month, and... Um, they went fast. These are these are hard to find. They're not particularly expensive online, but I never saw one of them in the store. So, <laughs> um, next up is the Ford Thunderbolt, or we already did. Yeah, we've got one out of. Nope. Sorry. Oh, I know what happened here. Okay. For you newbies, <laughs> see those numbers right? Where's my finger? Right there. See that says one fifteen. And that one says 85. This is number 85. This is a variant of it that is numbered wrong. And nothing will screw up your collecting like a misnumbered car. Um, that happens sometimes with Hot Wheels. They get misnumbered, and it's usually by color variant. So you'll end up with a color variant with the wrong number. And it's really easy to miss ones in your collection when they're misnumbered. But that is supposed to be number 85 with a misnumbered card. Number 116 is the uh, 67 Mustang Coupe. This guy came in a pretty easy to find bronze and a not so easy to find green. Again, I'm guessing this was the Walmart exclusive. I get the, uh, the Mustangs mixed up in this series. Next up is our first color variation and a car that had three or two wheel changes. So this gets a little confusing. Here, let, me, let me get organized first here. Okay. Let's start with the wheel variations. And that is with the uh, 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. This guy came with these five spoke white White spokes, five white spoke wheels. Those are solid black. It also came with a white rim version. And uh, then, if you're keeping score, it came in a light orange. This one with no wheel variation. And it came in a darker orange. This one with no wheel variation. Keeping track. Yeah, collecting Hot Wheels. It's all about. It's all about the Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> Next up is 118. That is the Ford Mustang Mach 1 in gray. And this fellow also came in a red. I had much easier time finding the gray over the red. Next up is the Mercury Cougar. This one came in a blue. There we go. And it came in a green. I got a bunch of the blue for some reason. Oh, I know what it is. I knew one of these was coming up. Okay, back to the blue one real quick. I almost missed it. I thought this was a Firebird, not a Cougar that had this issue. Okay, the blue one came with wheel variation again, and that is the chrome five-spoke wheels, the thin spokes, and if you can see the difference there in the wheels, it also came with the five-spoke 
version in thick spokes. Uh, don't remember which one was hard to find. Glad I caught that. I knew there was a reason I had a bunch of those here. I was thinking that was a Firebird that had the spoke differences on it in this group, and I thought I'd missed it. All right, so next up is the number 119, Mercury Cougar in orange. And that guy, I thought, came in a different... Oh, that's because... Can't go back. Remember, we just did the blue. Sorry. Just did the blue with the color wheel changes. Now it's in orange. The orange does not have any wheel changes. Okay. Mercury Cougar threw me off. All right. Next up is 120. That's the Ford Falcon in red. I'm going to hurry up because I know my memory is almost out. It also came in a purple. There we go. And that is the last car for this video. Um... Again, you can like us at Facebook at LE Diecast, and we've got all sorts of conversations going on there, just like this, where we talk about old cars and argue about what wheel variations are official and which ones aren't, and which colors are better than others, and where to find the newest cars. We also trade with each other a lot there, so hope to see you at LE Diecast on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.